Hello! Today I'm going to be telling you the story of the grasshopper and the inchworm. Now, a few days after the inchworm had come to the meadow, he finally met the grasshoppers. Now, everyone in the meadow knew that this caterpillar wanted to be a very fashionable inchworm in the meadow. And some of the young grasshoppers were very offended by this, and they started making fun of the grasshopper, or for the inchworm for it. Now, everyone else knew that this was just a joke that the inchworm had made when he moved into the meadow, but not these young grasshoppers. Now, one grasshopper in particular decided that he wanted to challenge the inchworm to a race. So he went and he found the inchworm and he told him, he said, I would like to challenge you to a race. Now, the inchworm said, sure, let's do a race. In fact, I'll race you tomorrow. And we will have all of our friends in the meadow look on at this race. And we will even choose a few friends to be judges. So they talked amongst each other and they decided that they would have the tree frog, the fat old cricket, and the caterpillar be the judges for this race. Everybody agreed to this. Now, the inchworm knew that the grasshopper was gonna be much faster than he was. So since he was a very wise inchworm, he decided that he needed to think of a way to help even the playing field a little bit for himself. So he invited the grasshoppers, all of the grasshoppers, including the one he was going to race, to this really nice patch of grass that he had found that was very sweet grass. And he invited them there and he said, I would like to have a picnic with you today before we have our race tomorrow. Now, the grasshoppers, of course, love to eat grass. And this grass was particularly sweet because it was the very beginning of summer. And the inchworm just nibbled here and there. He didn't need a whole lot of the grass, but he nibbled and, you know, nibbled and pretended like he was eating the whole time. But what he did do was he talked about how delicious and sweet this grass was the whole time and how we should eat as much of it as we possibly could right now because soon the sun was gonna come out and it was going to be so hot and it was gonna dry the grass out and it would no longer be as sweet. So the grasshoppers listening to all of this continued to eat and eat and eat and eat and then eventually they all fell asleep in the meadow after eating their fill of grass. Now, the next morning, Everybody woke up very excited about this race because not a whole lot of really exciting stuff happened in the meadow and so when something did they got very excited about it. And the judges decided that the race was going to go from the edge of the woods all the way across the meadow to the fence post and whoever could get to the fence post first would be considered the winner. Now, the inchworm was ready to go. He woke up early, he did some of his inchworm stretching that he needed to do to be ready for the race, and he showed up at the race line and was ready to go right when he needed to be. The grasshopper, however, he woke up a little later than he'd planned because he'd had a lot of grass the night before. He ate some more grass because the grass was really sweet. The inchworm was right about that and he kind of lazily made his way over to the start line. He was on time, but you know, just kind of took his time getting there. Now, the uh, fat old cricket jumped up on the rock right beside the line that they had started, they had put down for the starting line, and he gave a giant chirp, which meant that the race had begun. So the inchworm took off, steady and consistent. Not super fast, but steady and consistent. And he kept inching his way towards that fence post. He had it set in his mind that he was going to get to that fence post. Now the grasshopper, he just took his time. He decided that not only did he want to win this race, but he wanted to win the race and make it look like he tried half as hard as the inchworm, maybe even less than half as hard, like a quarter as hard as the inchworm. And so he hung back for a little while, chatted with some people at the line, talked to them about that delicious grass, had a couple more blades of delicious grass, and then he took three giant hops forward and he passed the inchworm. Now the inchworm, not phased at all, kept inching his way towards the fence post. 
The grasshopper took another break, chatted with some other friends that were on the sideline, had a couple more blades of grass, and then he started showing off. He would hop as high as he could into the air, and then he would land a little bit farther ahead. And then he'd hop as high as he could in the air, and he'd hop, he'd land a little bit farther ahead. Now, everybody started calling to the grasshopper, oh, you're so strong, look at how high you can jump. You look so beautiful in the air like this. And of course, the grasshopper, loved all of this attention. So he it just egged him on. He kept going, kept playing around. The inchworm, meanwhile, slow and steady, inching his way towards that fence post. Now, the grasshopper hopped three more big hops and he was in front of the inchworm again. But then of course he stopped, chatted a little bit, asked everybody how their day was going, had some more blades of grass. And then he looked forward and he realized he was very close to this fence post that was at the end and he took a couple of big hops forward, big hops up in the air as high as he could to show off again. And then he turned to take his last hop to the fence post and he looked at the fence post and the inchworm was sitting right on top of it. He had won the race. And so the cricket chirped his loud chirp again and said, the race is over and the inchworm has won. Now the grasshopper was so upset by this. He said, no, 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 I am the winner because I am much faster than the inchworm and I might have won that as quickly as I wanted to, but I chose to go a little slower and to talk to friends, but I'm much faster, so I would have won. And the old cricket said, no, no, that might be so, but races are not won by what you might do. Races are won by what you do and what you actually do. And so I'm sorry, but the inchworm is the winner of this race. And of course the inchworm was very happy for himself and all of the animals and all of the meadow friends cheered and cheered and cheered for the inchworm. And that, my friends, is the story of the grasshopper and the inchworm run a race.